Hello, my YouTube viewers. Uh, in this uh, more meaningful and socially redeeming uh, video, I'm going to show you how to do the elusive 3D Universal Studios logo in Adobe After Effects CS 5.5. Now, if you have a version prior to 5.5, this might not work because it won't have the built-in filters and and note that this tutorial doesn't use any uh, additional third-party filters it, it just uses the filters and the effects that come with uh, off-the-shelf uh, After Effects CS 5.5 alright so here we go uh, first create a new composition frame rate uh, resolution, time, duration, none of that really matters. Just use uh, whatever you your t target rendering settings are. Okay. Then you want to create a 3D text. And it's not 3D yet, okay? I'm just typing 3D text and note the capital T all the way to the lowercase t make this so that once I apply the effect to it you'll be able to see the actual effect uh, color doesn't matter yet font doesn't matter okay 3d text right now I want to apply do a search for cylinder CC cylinder in the effects palette and you know, notice that here in the effects controls that it has warped it to a th uh, 3D cylinder cylindrical mesh. So now you can adjust uh, the radius, make the cylind 3D cylinder bigger or smaller, and you can adjust the orientation of the texture on the, the 3D cylinder but I'm gonna reset that and render full outside and inside this is gonna be important for later but right now let's do for outside because I I don't want to make a too detailed of a tutorial just in case you know it's uh, overwhelming for the beginner. I, I want this to be a beginner uh, tutorial. So, uh, yeah, so make sure you apply those settings. Okay, now what you want to do is you come down here to the composition and you pre-compose this son bitch, okay? 3D text, pre-compose. Move all attributes into new composition. Yes, make sure you, you do that because otherwise that cylinder warp won't go in there with it see so now it is pre-composed it is two compositions now you want to do is create a two panel thing two panel deal thing by dragging the two compositions here because that's going to be important later okay come back to your original composition you see part of the original composition includes your pre-composed 3d text right you see by clicking here you see it appeared there okay now in the in your original composition that's going to be your main composition you turn that that pre comp off and just to prove that this is uh, a universal kind of thing let's import some images here import files I got a NASA globe image and a space image. This space image is just a bunch of generic stars that I drew in Photoshop but you could do that in whatever paintbrush or whatever you have available. Import these two files and you can get these NASA images and use them because for free because NASA is like a, a, what do you call it? It's a public service. So you can actually use any images that NASA provides off of their website so that's why you know you, you can use them and they're free you can use them they're for you for the public 
All right, so drag them into your comp, drag the space, you see, generic stars. Now you want to apply sphere, go to your effects, C, C, sphere in the effects palette, apply it to your NASA world. Make sure you're applying it to world, not the space, see? And et voila, it automatically converts it into a 3D globe. So. Here in the effects controls for uh, your NASA world image and your CC sphere effect, you got this rotation uh, dials, which is cool because watch this. I can rotate the Y axis and make it look like, whoa, ain't that sweet? You see? So you can, you can make, you can make uh, the globe. Uh, uh, spin so radius only adjusts the size of the globe so let's fill up the screen a little bit here and because I'm an American let's do rotate this here so we're facing America because that's my bias right America X axis right here so there's America North America okay Canadians are fine too I guess uh, okay so there's your globe Right now, you're not worried about that yet, right? You, you're not too worried. This is just merely a background. I could even pre-compose the space and the NASA world if I wanted to, but uh, for the sake of seeing the 3D text effect, then I, I need it separated and, and whatever. But All right, so in your main comp, you actually now have a 3D globe or uh, what appears to be a 3D globe, it's just a warp. They warp the texture onto a, a 3D mesh. Well, no, that is 3D, okay. Create a new solid. Solid, uh, use default settings, it doesn't matter because it's gonna take on whatever form, okay? So you notice that it creates a, a white solid on top of all your other stuff. Now come over here to effects preset palette look for shatter now this is a known trick uh, on tutorials I've seen on Adobe for After Effects forums and on YouTube but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna extend it just a bit so that's you know cuz there are some people that are stingy with their knowledge so they don't actually show you how to do how they did their universal uh, 3D logo thing so I have to figure it out myself and extend the, their tutorial alright uh, so you apply shatter onto the solid okay white solid up here in the effects controls for for your white solid under the shatter effect you want to view the final thing rendered so far it's white he it hasn't taken on a shape yet on shape Default is bricks. You want a custom shape. Okay. Custom shatter map will be that pre comp that you did first step, which is the 3D text comp one. Boom, there you have it. It already take it already took the shape of the text, okay? And since you applied a cylinder to it, it already applied that uh uh the the curve or the, the cylinder warp to it so now watch this this is cool in the effects controls for shatter there's extrusion extrusion depth if you just increase the extrusion look at that you see how cool that is that's real 3d you see that's real 3d you can increase or decrease the extrusion but I'm gonna make it kind of dramatic so that you can see it all right now to prove that's real 3d you come down here in the shatter effects thing and there's there is the camera position x y z rotation i'm going to rotate the y just so you can see that's real 3d see that now it may be lacking detail right now but you have once you apply lighting or, or textures or materials to it then you'll see that it's actual 3d but yeah, it's real 3D. So there. Real 3D. Real 3D. Real 
real 3D. It's real 3D. Okay. All right. Good. That's just just to extrude the the letters. So now you got your 3D effect down. Okay. Now check this out. This is this is way cool. Come back down here to your 3D text comp, your pre comp, and click on your your CC cylinder effects. Uh, and let's increase the radius a bit because you want it to wrap around that uh, globe a bit. And now what you want to do is you want to make a reference on the effects rotation. Y axis. You see? because it's going to be going around like this, right? Because that's the Universal Studios logo. It goes around like that. So, what you want to do is come here and then do go to animation, add expression. Okay, this might get a little messy, but add expression, right? So it creates an expression right here. Right now it is what you would call an identity value. Is it will rotate however many degrees that you set here in this pre comp. But what you want to do is you want more control over it. So this is this is a debugging uh, example or implementation. You don't have to do this, but I just want to demonstrate how the math works. Okay, so I'm gonna create a null object right no object in your master composition and come down here and open up the transform settings and pay attention to the position x value y value got it come down here to your 3d text pre comp and where you added the expression for the rotation of the y axis of the cylinder uh, warp you see this little uh, pick whip thing, a little squiggly thing here. You want to associate this rotation y value, drag it to your position x value of the null object. Okay. See, and it's to, to confirm that it made the association now saying the value of rotation y will be that of comp1 right here comp1 layer null 1 transform position uh, array 0 which is x because the array has two two indexes x and y okay now you come here you will see the null object here if you click on it you drag and you change the x value okay pay close attention notice the 3d text it rotates on the y-axis and that's exactly what you want right and remember when I said you only want to render the outside outside uh, layer of the, the cylinder warp well that's exactly what you want because otherwise it won't seem like it's going around the globe but that's for another tutorial I, I mean it's actually pretty simple you would create a, a second pre-comp that renders the inside of the cylinder you know and you would layer it on top and do an inverse rotation but for now this is to demonstrate okay and this is real 3d let me show you let me give you a better view of this real 3d you notice that the parallax is correct unlike my previous video where it, it just applied uh, it just extruded a, a flattened or rasterized uh, 3D, 3D, 2D image, and it wasn't correct. But now it's real 3D, see? So the parallax is correct. Got it. All right. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. I could go into more detail uh, applying materials and stuff, but I, I'll leave that to you guys to play around with because it. it your taste differs from mine and you know you can make it and dress it up as much as you want but in essence that's how you do it okay
so that's cool and I hope you found this helpful you can share this video you can like it comment subscribe because uh, this isn't something I normally do you know I usually create videos about myself but uh, I've noticed that people will return to watch your channel if you create more useful content so uh, I, I like to pride myself as a teacher right so and and learning is always fun so uh, yeah thanks for watching my video and I uh, hope you find this helpful and have fun creating your YouTube videos and uh, film masterpieces alright thanks bye